Next to the ice, representing Russia, please welcome Polina Tserskaya. Here's the 16-year-old who was born in Siberia, moved to Moscow to train on the ice when she was just 11 years of age. Polina Tserskaya in our first real good Look here at Skate America of her. She was one of those can't-miss young teenagers a few seasons ago, but a couple of injuries, including a genetic disease that caused a knee injury and then surgery, took her away for a while, and back she is. that this is her first senior Grand Prix season. She's making quite the splash. She's an incredible jumper, a great technician. Here's her triple triple, triple Lutz, solid. Beautiful combination. She won a bronze medal at Grand Prix Japan. She's one of two skaters here, she and Ashley Wagner, who with a win, go to the Grand Prix final. Ashley's a favorite. She has the experience, the years to back her up. But I'm going to say Polina is going to put the pressure on her here. The advantage for Polina definitely comes on the technical side. The components are Ashley Wagner's strength. But this short, short program is stunning. It's getting to the Game of Thrones soundtrack when Cersei takes over King's Landing, and she definitely does skate like, skate like the queen. to see those two mistakes that will cost her because she is so tall and she jumps so high she relies a lot on the snap on those jumps and towards the end of the program she just wasn't firing Polina Sturzkaya the 16 year old from Russia with those mistakes to be costly tonight because she and Ashley Wagner as I mentioned vying for that spot and Ashley Wagner warming up backstage she'll be in that next group a little later tonight here as we continue in Lake Placid. Then a rip on watching. Think about all the young Russian skaters, the stars right now. Here's one of them, but really trying to break through, Polina Sertskaya. She opened with a beautiful triple let's triple toe. The height, the distance, very different than any of the other Russian ladies. She really gives it her all in the height department. She really had the snap here. She didn't. You can see how she, her arms start to go to her shoulders. Rotation wasn't finished before the blade hit the ice. And then she even made another mistake on the axle, just sort of sluggish. You know, remember this too, with those spots at the Grand Prix final, we talked please. about right now with Medvedeva in, but she's got a broken foot and she's questionable, the so there could be a spot open up. Polina. Yeah, you're looking at that first alternate position as well. Mm -hmm. Mandatory deduction, as you said, for the fall for hitting the ice and technical elements, presentation, 63-20, that's second place. She doesn't look happy. <laughs> By the way, Brady Tunnell scored not only a personal best, but the highest for a U.S. lady this season. That 
Further reinforces your point. 